Greetings and welcome to Modern World Dynamics, the channel where we keep pace with the ever-evolving globe. Today, we're shifting gears slightly and tackling a subject that's as relevant as it is uncomfortable to some. Prenuptial agreements. Now I know what you're thinking. Ah, nothing screams romance like a good old prenup chat, am I right? But bear with me, because in our modern world, these agreements are more important than ever before. They're not just for the celebrities or the ultra-wealthy anymore. No, no, they're for everyone, young couples included, who want to secure their financial future and safeguard their assets. So while it might not be as enticing as planning your honeymoon, it's just as essential. And who knows, we might even have a laugh or two along the way, so buckle up as we dive into the fascinating world of prenups. Before we go any further, let's clear the air about what a prenuptial agreement actually is. Picture this, our friends Jack and Jill have been dating for a while and they've decided to tie the knot. They're both excited about the wedding, but there's a little nagging question in the back of their minds. What if it doesn't work out? This is where a prenuptial agreement, or prenup for short, comes into play. A prenup is a legal document that a couple signs before they get married, outlining how they will divide their assets if they ever decide to part ways. Think of it as a safety net. It's there to catch you if you fall, but you hope you'll never need it. Now you might be thinking, but Jack and Jill are madly in love. They don't need a prenup. And that's where you'd be wrong. Love is a beautiful thing, but it can also be unpredictable. A prenup isn't about expecting the worst. It's about being prepared for any eventuality. It's like carrying an umbrella when there's a chance of rain. You hope the sun will keep shining, but if it does rain, you'll be glad you have that umbrella. So in essence, a prenup is Jack and Jill's relationship umbrella ready to protect them if the weather turns stormy. Now that we know what a prenuptial agreement is, let's explore why it's so important. You might be thinking, I'm in love, why do I need a prenup? Well, let me tell you why. Picture this, you're a world-renowned baker and your soon-to-be spouse is a professional sock collector. Now let's say you've spent years perfecting the ultimate chocolate cake recipe and your partner has managed to accumulate the world's largest collection of polka-dotted socks. You're both proud of your achievements, and rightly so. But what happens if you part ways? Who gets the chocolate cake recipe? And what about the sock collection? This is where a prenuptial agreement comes into play. A prenuptial agreement, or prenup, is like a guidebook for your assets. It sets out who owns what and how everything will be divided if you decide to go your separate ways. It's a bit like a treasure map, but instead of leading to a chest of gold, it leads to a clear understanding of your financial situation. Now you might be thinking, but we're in love, we'll never need that. And I hope you're right. But let's face it, life is unpredictable. And while we all hope for the best, it's smart to prepare for the worst. A prenup can offer financial protection, especially if one of you has significantly more assets or debts than the other. It can help avoid disputes over property rights and can even ease the divorce process. Yes, talking about divorce isn't the most romantic topic, but it's better than arguing over who gets the dog or the car or the polka dotted sock collection in the event of a split. Prenuptial agreements are not about mistrust or pessimism. They're about being practical and protecting both parties. It's like carrying an umbrella. You might not expect it to rain, but if it does, you'll be glad you have it. So, remember, love is wonderful, but it doesn't pay the bills. And while we all hope our relationships will last forever, it's wise to have a plan just in case they don't. As you can see, a prenup is more than just a document. It's a safety net for your future. So, you've decided you want a prenup. Now comes the tricky part, discussing it with your partner. The mere mention of a prenuptial agreement can cause a chill in the air, but it doesn't have to be that way, folks. Let's start with the basics. Timing is everything. Broaching the subject of a prenup right after a candlelit dinner might not be the best idea. Instead, choose a neutral time and place where both of you feel comfortable and open for discussion. And remember, this isn't a one-time conversation, so there's no rush. Now, on to communication. It's essential to approach this talk with honesty and transparency. You're not trying to protect your assets from your partner. You're trying to protect both of you from uncertainty. Make sure your partner understands this. It's not a matter of trust. It's a matter of being practical. To illustrate this, let's turn to our fictitious couple. 
Jack and Jill. When Jack first brought up the idea of a prenup, Jill was taken aback. She felt like it was a vote of no confidence in their future. But Jack didn't let the conversation end there. He explained his reasoning, emphasizing that he saw the prenup as a safety net, not a prediction of their downfall. He wanted to ensure they both had a fair say in their financial future, no matter what happened. Over time, Jack's honesty and openness helped Jill understand his perspective. She realized that a prenup wasn't about lack of faith in their relationship, but rather about ensuring mutual protection. So, what can we learn from Jack and Jill? The key is to be patient, honest and understanding. Listen to your partner's concerns and address them. And keep in mind, it's okay to seek professional help. A mediator or a lawyer can provide clarity and guidance, making the process less daunting. In the end, remember this conversation is not a battlefield. It's an opportunity for both of you to express your expectations and concerns about your shared future. Remember, it's not about winning the conversation, it's about reaching an understanding. Before we wrap up, let's quickly go over the key points we've discussed today. We kicked off by understanding what a prenuptial agreement or prenup is. It's essentially a legal document that outlines how a couple's assets and liabilities would be divided in the event of a divorce. Not exactly a romantic dinner topic, but certainly a critical one. We also delved into why prenups are important. They provide a clear, agreed-upon framework and can save a lot of heartache and legal headaches down the line. It's not about planning for a breakup, but rather about being prepared for any eventuality. It's like carrying an umbrella on a sunny day. You might not need it, but it's good to have just in case. Then we explored how to broach this sensitive subject with your partner. The key is to approach it as a team, focusing on mutual respect and understanding. It's not about you versus me, but us against potential future problems. So no pointing fingers or placing blame, just open and honest conversation. And hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up with all the latest from Modern World Dynamics. We're here to navigate the complexities of the modern world together, one topic at a time. Thank you for joining us on Modern World Dynamics today. Remember, a prenup isn't a sign of mistrust, but a testament of preparedness. Until next time, stay savvy.